the, the, the anger and the hatred that's being spread on, on, the, on this issue is, is really disheartening. This weekend, the city of Kiel, just northwest of Sheboygan and Manitowoc and Calumet counties, remains on high alert, thrust in the middle of a culture war. The FBI now investigating a half dozen plus bomb threats targeting the school district, library, city hall, infrastructure, and the homes of several elected officials. No arrests have been made. Classes now moved virtually. Graduation scheduled for today postponed. And the city's Memorial Day parade was canceled. The threats demanded the school district drop its Title IX sexual harassment investigation into three eighth grade boys. Their attorneys say the investigation is the result of the boys not calling another student by their preferred pronouns of they and them. Late Thursday, ahead of more targeted and promised threats Friday, the school board said the matter is closed. Rick Essenberg is president of the Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty. He is representing the boys and their families. Rick, welcome back to Upfront. Well, thank you for having me, man. Uh, I want to first get you uh, on the threats that we've seen over the last couple of weeks. Leading up to Friday, at least, it, it appears that they seemed to have escalated. Does Will feel any responsibility for what's transpired in the community? No, look, within minutes of hearing about these threats, we um, uh, condemn them. Uh, whoever did this, whatever their motivation is, I hope they're arrested and sent to prison. Uh, we don't resolve disputes in our country this way, and I wouldn't expect our clients and I wouldn't expect the Kiel, Kiel School District to change the position that they would otherwise take um, because they've been threatened. And so we uh, uh, condemn this without reservation. As to whether or not Will is responsible for it, um, I think that the suggestion that we might be is very, very dangerous. Um, we might just as readily blame Governor Evers for statements that he made after the Blake shooting and, and there was a riot, or we uh, might just as readily blame people who sharply criticized uh, the leaked decision in the Dobb case, and then we saw uh, firebombing at Wisconsin Family Action. Um, we are free um, in the United States of America to express our opinions, uh, to um, assert lawyers like us, to assert the interests of our clients. And uh, we're not responsible if uh, some lunatic out there reads about it and acts irresponsibly. Let's talk about the case itself. Late Thursday night, the school board came out and said <clears throat> the investigation is now closed. So what's the current status of the bo three boys, the three students you represent? Well, they're no longer being investigated. Uh, for sexual harassment and a violation of federal statute, and they never should have been. And so from our perspective, uh, uh, the school board has, a uh, school district, has finally done the right thing. Uh, they've done what we asked them to do. Um, they've come to the recognition that uh, they overreached, and uh, uh, if they stick to that, then I think the matter is over. Rick, in the Wall Street Journal, in an op-ed you wrote that you mentioned that a federal lawsuit is possible if the boys were punished. Is there any scenario where a lawsuit is still on the table? No, unless something happens that I don't anticipate happening, no, I don't think that there's going to be a lawsuit here. Um, we wanted the school district to um, end an investigation that we thought was improper. The school district has done that. Unless something unforeseen happens, I think the matter is over. All right, Rick Essenberg, president of the Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty. Rick, like always, thank you. Thank you. Take care. We asked the mayor, city administrator, police chief, and superintendent to appear on today's show. All declined our requests. Up next, all eyes on the RNC.